There's no lack of water here at the cottage. But getting it from here... Here is the challenge. I wanted to take a minute and talk about the water situation at our cottage. We always bring in our drinking water, but I want to get a system in place for washing and showering and things like that. I'm going to try to make it a system based on rainfall, and I've done the calculations. I think it'll work out. But I'd also like to have a pump from the lake, so that in times when there's less water, we're able to supplement. There's a lot of great information online about these systems in an off-grid application and I've made some purchases based on those recommendations. This is a Sureflow 12-volt sure flow pump and an Ecotemp L5. I'm going to hook these up using rainwater as our source of water and hopefully be able to get a system up and running. Okay, so this is my test setup. This bin represents our 500 gallon rainwater collection tank, and that's the intake there. Goes over to a particulate filter, which will take out any debris that collects, and then it goes to our sure flow pump, which is powered by right now this little 12 volt battery, which uh, will eventually be recharged by solar, but for now we'll bring back and forth and charge it home. Once we get that going, it pressurizes the line which goes to our Ecotemp L5 propane heater. And the end result is hot water. I'll tell you one thing, the girls are going to be pretty happy about that. As you can see, it heats it up really nicely. While we were gone, I calculated that we should have collected about 80 gallons of water based on the rainfall. But when we came back, we found that we actually collected about 300 gallons. That's sweet news. That means no more collecting water from the lake and carrying it all the way up the hill. I thought maybe we had collected 80 gallons or so, but 300 gallons is sweet. We only plan on using the rainwater for washing dishes and showers. So for now, I'm just disinfecting it with bleach. I use about three quarters of a cup when the tank is full at 500 gallons every once or two weeks, keeping an eye on it so nothing grows in there. This tank needs to be wrapped in black plastic. It was originally used indoors to store maple syrup, but now that I'm using it outdoors, uh, it needs to be made opaque with black plastic so that uh, the sun can't penetrate and grow uh, algae. I also installed our hot water system. It's a temporary install, but for now it works, and it sure is nice to have hot water. When the rest of the cottage is finished and the washroom is ready, I'll move this over closer to where it's going to be and install it with more permanent piping. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. See you next time.